Chris and I have been given access to speak to two of the best trainers at the Vuelta España. And in this video, we are going to be diving deep into the details of how training has changed over the years. Yeah, training has changed uh, a lot. So um, where they used to uh, train with only heart rate monitors mm. back 20 years ago, then they started uh, to use power meters uh, as a training tool yeah. to quantify uh, their training intensity. Okay. And from then, there has been a, a revolution. On uh, so everybody from the under 20 since they're under 22 rider until all professional cyclists, they now use they now uh, train with a power meter. Yeah, if they see that they are improving, if they see that they, this work, uh, then it's going to be really good for the future. For sure, they they are going to weigh the they are going to find a way to to enjoy. No, and yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, to have fun on the bike is, is really, really important for, for, for everybody, I would say. And uh, we have to, to, as a coach, yeah, it's, everybody's individual, everybody's different, everybody's individual, and we have to find a way for different riders uh, to enjoy. Some people can enjoy uh, sharing the training with another teammates, yeah. some people can enjoy uh, I don't know, uh, if you plan all the training in uh, different scenarios or I don't know, it uh, can be totally different but uh, I, I think that um, to have fun on the bike is, is really part, it's really important part of this sport. And do you set them certain, certain powers to sit in or certain zones that they can sit in on uh, say a hard ride, they would sit at zone 5 or an easy ride, yeah. zone 1 is... This is the biggest uh, advantage as to heart rate monitoring, that mm. is with power meters, you can uh, set up a lot of more training zones. Yeah. Like um, we have more than 10 training zones oh, well. to train in. Yeah. Um, whereas in heart rate, a professional cyclist has five or six heart rate zones. Okay. With power, with the power meter, you can define more training zones. Oh, well. Why can you define more? So if you want to do um, short intervals, like less than one minute. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, possibilities like 2040s, 3030s, 1530s, or yeah. everything less than one minute. You cannot describe or prescribe this training form in yeah. terms of heart rate. You need to use power. Concrete numbers. As, uh, concrete numbers. Yeah. Um, because on this short interval, you're, there is a delay in your heart rate. Oh. So when you do uh, an effort of, let's say, 500 watt, your heart rate goes up slowly. Yeah. But at the end of the block, your still your heart rate is still, still going high. up and up and up. Yeah. With the power meter or with power, you know exactly from second one which power or which intensity you are riding. And I, we were just chatting earlier, and you were saying when you go out scouting for new riders, something you look at is is power so you kind of say to you know the teams yeah, yeah. How, like how, how does that go about how does scouting riders and looking at power how does that work yeah we set up a, a power profile for every rider yeah all the riders in our team they have a performance id like we like we call it yeah this is a passport oh, where okay. they can see their five seconds value 10 seconds 20 oh, wow. 30 one minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, all in power. And then we benchmark all these data with the World Tour best numbers. And then you can set up a power profile. Ah, oh, okay. So That's within, really the, within the team, yes, we have this performance ID, yeah. this passport, but also for a scouting uh, of our new riders, mm. we ask them or we ask via, the man via their managers their credentials yeah. for the software that you're using. So everybody um, loads up his training files into, for example, training peaks or today's plan. Every day without fail. Every day yeah. their trainings are I online. was terrible at uploading mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some, some. Yeah. I don't think so, it has changed a lot. I think uh, 20 years or 30 years ago, people was training really, really well. Yeah. And today people is training really well. So I think, uh, what it has changed is that now we can monitor and we can control everything. So uh, I think that's really good part of the of the code 
coaching or, or training. But uh, at least in my experience, yeah. I can't feel that uh, training has changed or a lot. But now for this uh, scouting, mm. so I, I log in in their Training Peaks account, yeah. and I set up a performance ID or a PAR profile mm. for them, which I then benchmark with the best World Tour numbers. Yeah. And uh, then we see, of course, at race results, as so, well. So is power more important than results? For me, power is more important than results. When you talk uh, for Mountains. over under 23 riders yeah. or riders who don't have experience on a world tour level. Yeah. If you are scouting a rider who has, already, who has rode a lot on pro continental level mm. and you want them to ride in a world tour team, then numbers, power, uh, the power that's of the, important. yeah, that's important. Yeah. Do you have one favorite bit of advice that you would offer to a young rider, you know, 17 to 22, that's maybe hoping to become competitive? What, what would you advise them to do? Yeah, maybe this is a really important age uh, range now. Because a lot of people ask me, uh, I've got a son who is uh, doing cycling and uh, uh, what he should do. And I always say, enjoy, yeah. just enjoy. He doesn't need to, I don't know, to do really strict uh, training program or, I don't know, follow really strict advices or just share the training with, uh, with teammates, teammates, just enjoy, just, uh, I don't know. Uh, then it's, it's time to, to be serious and time to, to try to, to develop and improve. You know? But I think from um, 17 to 22, 23 years old, is really important part of the cycling cyclist careers where they have to at least know if they ha if they want to be professional riders or or not so we hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it as interesting as we have don't forget if you have liked this video then give us a thumbs up and also for more vuelta content click down here